can we expect from you compared to the way you played under Niels? In terms personally or from the team? Uh, from the team. From the team, uh, you know, I think there'll be many factors that stay the same. I think, you know, playing for Bromba, it's pretty clear that we're going to play with a lot of intensity, a lot of aggression. Uh, defensively off the ball, we're going to aim to work a lot harder than the other team. Um, you know, I think there'll be some slight changes to uh, the formation, uh, which will always pose, you know, new dimensions for each player. Um, I think we're going to be maybe slightly more focused on, on playing the ball through the middle and creating chances through that. So, again, it's something we hope to do and we'll show you on Sunday. And how about your role? Yeah, well, obviously, I'll be on the pitch a bit more, so hopefully. Uh, so that will be slightly different. But I think, you know, essentially the same. I'm, I'm focused on trying to play with my skills, and that's going to be with the ball, um, moving the ball and, and keeping the flow in the game. So, yeah, it's my job to find the such creative players that we have. Obviously, Daniel Vass, Valleys, Hawkon, the new player, Anus. So, you know, I think that's my job is getting the ball to them and letting them create stuff. How is your... Um Cooperation with the Greve on the on the two sixes, and what are you are your roles different? Uh, can you explain a little bit? Yeah, I think you know, I think you'd say the same for nearly all the midfielders we have. We're all quite different midfielders, uh, and we have everyone has different strengths and different weaknesses. Uh, I think Greve, yeah, as you guys are all aware, I think he's had a fantastic start to the season as well. He's you know very uh, strong athletically and can cover a lot of ground, and I think his ability to dribble with the ball and create is phenomenal. Uh, so for me, I know that I just need to get the ball to his feet. It's a bit the same. Sorry, I missed him out before. But yeah, he's one of those players that, that is really creative and can take it past one, two, three players, which yeah, sometimes I dream about myself, but maybe it's not my strongest quality. Um, but yeah, playing as two sixes, it, I think we do um, yeah, bring strengths to maybe other weaknesses of each other, which is a nice balance, but I wouldn't put it at just us two. I think that's the same for, for all the midfielders in the team. Your countryman, uh, Staminis from FC Copenhagen, is going to mm -hmm. leave uh, Denmark in the summer. Mm -hmm. Are you going to miss him? Oh, I've got to be careful what I say here <laughs> now. <laughs> You're putting me under pressure. No, obviously, it's uh, fantastic to play in the league with, with other New Zealanders. Uh, I have to be careful when he's at FCK, so uh, <laughs> don't have to wish him the best of luck. But no, uh, he is a close friend of mine, and he's a fantastic young player from New Zealand. So we've spoken uh, often and stay in touch. So... Yeah, I think it's a, it's a move for him and I'm wishing him all the best for it. Was it ever a thing for you to leave Bromby in general or have you were you always certain to stay there? No, I think my mentality uh, through the whole period tried to stay pretty solid throughout. Uh, I really wanted to work hard. I really wanted to work hard enough and develop enough to push myself into the team. And, you know, as a footballer, you can't always control everything. Um, Nils didn't see it fit that... I played as many minutes, and that was his uh, decision to make. But I think, you know, for me, it meant just still training hard and working hard. So, you know, now things are different, and I think it's clear for everyone that football can change really fast. Uh, things are going well now. They could go bad in two weeks. You never know with football. So, you know, staying consistent throughout, I think, has been pretty key for me so far with my career, and hopefully that will continue.